Hello and welcome to another me talking about some gadgets, my thoughts. Today I've got the Through Night Tactical Torch, it's the BSS V4 Torch. Uh, it's already out of the box, I'm going to flick over in a moment to me unboxing it just to show you what you get in the box. And then uh, we're going to come back to me and I'm just going to talk a little bit more about the torch settings, power outputs and stuff like that. So inside the box, you can see it's a nice, clean, simple, clean box. Uh, I don't like boxes, you know I'm myself. Uh, I like to have everything in a nice, simple box. You don't need to spend money on boxes. Uh, you get an instruction manual uh, in several different languages. Uh, all the languages you probably need to understand how to use it. I've already attached the lanyard, but the lanyard comes in a little packet and you have these nice little holes on the side to attach the uh, lanyard to. So there's your torch little piece of foam surrounding. Also inside the box we have a uh, pouch so you can put your torch inside the pouch carabiner hook on the top. There's also a clip inside for clipping onto the bottom of your torch so you can hold it onto your belt. There's also a set of o-rings so you've got a small set of o-rings to go inside the top and you also get a little rubber cover to go on the bottom and a little rubber cover to go on the charging port on the back and on the side. There's also a piece of silicon gel. We also get a USB cable, as you can see just there. This is a USB, uh, micro USB cable, not USB-C. Uh, we would have liked to have seen a USB-C, but a micro USB cable comes with the box. So that's what's in the box. There's your torch. There's your empty box. And uh, yeah, let's get explaining what we get in our box. Ah, oh, there is one other thing in the box, and it's not actually in there. I know where it is. I took it out. I'll have to go and get it. It's in my uh, camera bag. And I'm back. So you get this small filter and I'll show you what that does as well. That also comes in the box. So let's start with showing you the pouch. This is the pouch, nice and simple. Camera, clip on your camera bag, torch fits inside, Velcro to keep it in and a nice little hook. The only thing I would say is it'd be nice to have somewhere on this pouch or on the back of the pouch to keep your filter, preferably maybe on the front, somewhere you can slot your filter in uh, so you've got it with you when you need it. I'm going to show you what this does in a moment. I'll leave it just there. So yeah, it fits in the pouch quite nicely. Let's take that out and leave that up there. There's our torch. We have a knurled uh, front to the torch. I will put up on the screen what that actually they call this. But this is what your filter does. Your filter will then screw on the front like so. Okay, the filter fits on the front like so, and what this does, it gives you an orange light. As you can see there, you get this red glow. So all your light settings come exactly the same with the orange, or the red, should I say, the red glow. And if I turn it on bright for you, you can see there, it's giving you a nice red light, so it's good for working in the dark. Okay, getting back to the torch part that I took off the front there is called a strike bezel. So there's our torch. Uh, all the dimensions will be coming up on the screen just here. We get our clip to clip it onto our belt. It can be clipped on, it's quite a strong clip. Uh, it's not going to fall off. Like I said your lanyard's a nice long lanyard with a attachment that makes it tight around your wrist so it doesn't fall off. The light has a quick button on the back, so it's like a tactical torch, you can press the button on the back and you can get your super bright uh, light coming up on there. We've also got a button on the side with a small LED inside and what the LED does, it gives you um, the charging point, so you can see when it's charging. Nice knurled metal, good feeling grip, bright LED inside and I'm going to show you how this works. So we press and hold long press and you get a very dim half lumen light coming out the end and what this is doing is giving you just enough glow to be able to read a map 
and this will last for a long time. All the details will be up on the screen. Then we turn it off, press it once to bring it on, press and hold, it goes brighter, press and hold, it goes brighter still. You can see it's a really, really bright torch and I can feel the heat on my hand. So we've got three light settings. It always remembers the last setting it was on. So press and hold, it goes back down to the low setting, hold, medium, hold, high, and back down to low. If you double press, you get the turbo. Turbo is extremely bright, as you can see there, it's a very, very bright light. I'll turn it back off and it should switch back onto its last memorable setting. Also, if you press it three times, you get a strobe light, very, very bright, and enough to put someone off uh, if they're coming at you or attacking you. Give them the strobe in their face and uh, it will slow them down, I'm sure. You get all the same settings with your red glow filter on as well. So you can have all the same settings with the red glow filter. So that works very, very well as well for nighttime anti-dazzle, especially with me being a photographer and uh, it will help for looking at the camera. Very well made, very, very well made. And I'm gonna go back over to me talking to you about this torch. We have a weight of 91 grams. Uh, that's what it weighs. I'm not sure whether that's with or without the battery. I do need to get it on a set of scales and just find out for you. But it's 91 grams. Um, you got an alloy body with a, a knurled grip on it, so you get a good grip. It fits in your hand quite well. It's quite a nice size. Um, dimensions is 146 millimeters long, 28 millimeters wide, and 25 millimeters at the uh, point in it. The battery is inside. And like I say, you get these spare rubber rings and the rubber rings are to take these seals so your battery is inside like so. Easily screw on the bottom to seal the battery in. Do it up nice and tight and just to make sure that your torch is working before you carry on. Lumens wise, like I said, you press and hold and you get this very, very bright dim light in the bottom. That is 0.4 lumens, that will run for uh, 56 days which is quite a long time so it's great for reading maps and stuff like that uh, switch it on for your low setting your low setting then is 33 lumens that will run for 55 hours uh, and 42 minutes which is quite a long time and it's enough light to be able to see around it lights the floor and it does a pretty good job and you can see on the side they get this little tiny blue light uh, if I can just focus it for you, you get this little tiny blue light on the side to show you that the power is on we go up to our next settings, we press and hold, go up to our next setting, and that takes us up to 350 lumens. Again, this is quite bright. Um, probably the main one I would use all the time when I'm out with a landscape, doing my photography and stuff like that. This will run for four and a half hours like this. So then we've got our um, high setting. So it's 1,426 lumens, and it will drop down after 130 seconds to 634 lumens. Uh, that will then run for another 150 minutes. So it's quite uh, quite time consuming, you know, it's when you've got these higher powers, when they get warm, they have to drop down to conserve the power in the battery. Um, if I double click, this will take us up to, sorry, double click, this is gonna take us onto the turbo mode, which is extremely bright uh, at 2,523 lumens. This will run like this for 125 seconds and you can feel the heat coming out of it. It will then drop down to 614 lumens and that will then run for another 147 minutes, which is plenty of time to keep you going. One, two, three. The strobe will then run for uh, 212, uh, sorry, 210 minutes and a light capacity of 1,200 lumens. So it's pretty bright, it's a nice little tactical torch, it's a nice little uh, pocket torch. Uh, comes with this pouch which I said before and I think that with the pouch it's quite handy because you can literally slip it in attach it to your strap on your camera or onto your belt or even attach it with a carabiner to your belt loops and stuff like that you put it at hand all the time and uh, yeah all in all pretty good I do wish that the small filter had somewhere to go in the pouch I think that you need to keep that on you if you want to use the red light this is going to end up getting left behind and uh, you won't have it on you when you need it. So it would have been nice to have it somewhere on this pouch. You can just tuck it in with a bit of Velcro and that would have been absolutely perfect. The previous 1.5 meter uh, 
impact resistance so you can drop this from 1.5 meters it should bounce and uh, it shouldn't break at all so 1.5 meters is about six foot so if you do drop it you should be okay uh, it should survive uh, it's also waterproof at ipx8 which is two meters in depth so you can drop this in water drop it in the river even if you're out in the rain and stuff like that hiking in water up to your knees you've got this torch on you and it lands in the water or you end up in the water up to your pockets uh, it should be fine so that's that little torch it's the through night bss v2 i just wanted to do a quick unboxing for you show you all about the little torch and uh, tell you my thoughts on it and my thoughts are it's pretty good quite like it so i'm going to, have to get out and use it now thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe um, do check out my landscape photography channel as well paul compton pd photography um, and this is quite a new channel this is just my second spin-off channel so i would appreciate it if you can give us a like give us a thumbs up and uh, maybe share some of this content to get this channel rolling as well so yeah till next time ciao for now see you soon and uh, yeah get out and play with your torches